Hello, hello, hello. This is Chinepo Makeup Artist. I'm here again in this beautiful, wonderful Monday day uh, to show you. Um, I will be working on the second makeup look with the amazing uh, Pat McGrath uh, Mega, uh, Nir Celestial Nirvana Palette. I just upload on my YouTube channel the first look and I'm proceeding to work on the first one. So I need to give a space of a couple of days between the works for the editing and all the stuff that included, okay? Um, you will love for me to do a certain makeup look um, with the same palette or with another product. You let me know, write in the comment. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, nobody is sponsoring me. Um, I'm doing this on my own. I buy all my own product. And the only intention of doing this is to teach. Um, I would like, uh, I wish you you actually like my work. Uh, I am in the field of the editorial high fashion and creative makeup look. But uh, I like also to do, you know, makeup look that you can wear on a regular basis. So I invite you to stay with me. And as I am going to begin to working on this makeup look of Monday. Okay, I just prime my eyes. You already know my favorite product, uh, Derma Chill, the ultima, the ultimate skin protectant. Okay, so now using Huda Beauty, um, the over a shiver concealer. I'm going to start concealing my eyes. The product is already dry. So with pattern, pattern movement, not dragging. It's no need of being dragging the product. If you really want to take care of the integrity of your skin, pattern motion is more than enough, okay? Because eventually, by doing this and stretching the skin, you know, uh, it's going to harm the elasticity. So the elasticity is something that once and it's gone, it's gone and we can recover that. So for that reason, it's important, okay? So with body motion or stippling motions, I'm diffusing This concealer, I like it, it's high coverage. And I like it because I'm having uh, some pink pools, like you can see there and there. Uh, I wanna say that um, I have a uh, imbalance hormones problems and it's some days that are worse than another one, okay? So, my skin type is a combination type of skin. So I try to stay away from something that is extremely oily and just, I go in the middle, very balanced, okay? Um, I try to don't overdo the product in my face for that reason it's super important to protect your skin before doing your makeup. Okay, I'm sorry I can look on the camera because I'm looking on the mirror, but um, it's important to protect the skin before any makeup. And you start that protection with your, um, with your beauty product, whatever you like to use, you know, for a, like a hyaluronic acid, your serums, um, vitamin C, some people like the ferulatic acid, I love it. Huda Beauty have amazing product, peptides, okay? And when you are done with that, so you apply your moisturizer. The moisturizer is vital to start in the day, okay? Even though you don't wear makeup, and for people that like to protect the skin from the sun, you can use your sunscreen on top of that, 
okay now some some screen come with some color uh, tint then you can actually take advantage if you don't like to wear so much makeup okay so as you can see this concealer i really love it look one drop and i still have literally half of the amount i put on my on my hand is um it's a high coverage concealer i love it doesn't crease which is very important okay at the time when you have to choose for a concealer just make sure you know that this product doesn't dry your skin and don't crease as you can see is beautifully blended okay and then just in case i proceed with my beauty blender and i retouch just to removing all the excess so i want to make sure that you know it's not going to crease at the end but normally even though if i, I don't do the the cons the beauty blender i don't see any crease at all okay so i'm going to proceed to set my eyes with Mecca Forever uh, Ultra Micro Finishing um, Press Powder is an HD. Okay, see you in a little. Hello, my friends. I'm here. I just finished, like I was saying, concealing my eyes. I did set the eyes. I used my beauty blender to remove any excess of the product of the concealer, if that is the case, to prevent any creasing. Okay. I'm planning on working with this beautiful purple shade. So far I did prime my face um, with a blur and prime uh, from YSL. Okay, my friends, um, I'm here. I just finished doing this eye. As you see, I use a lot of creativity you know, plain. I will tell you in order the colors I was using. I start on the purple. Okay. The edges with this beautiful pink. In the middle, center of the eye, all the way to my um, eyebrow bone. I use this color. And on top, this finished metallic shimmer. Okay, so and beside that, I did I line the eye with a black artistic pencil from Make uh, Makeup Forever. It's a black, simple black. Beautiful because doesn't transfer. And as a creativity part, you know, of this makeup look, I add one stunning and long eyelash just in the middle eye this eye is going to be a little different as you can see here okay on the corner let us go here i was going with the purple but instead of cutting the typical cut eye uh, eye cut i went rounded okay and putting same colors i use on the makeup and the eye makeup look had a blue have a beautiful blue in the corner so since the eyelash was extremely long and these are mink eyelash I use the part that I cut from the inner because you never cut it from the outer when you want to adjust one eyelash as a pro makeup artist I'm telling you something right now. You never cut your eyelash from the outer because you are going to alter the length and the curve, okay? So you always adjust the eyelash from the inner so you, this remain intact, okay? From the inner, I cut this, I have this. I'm not going to waste it, so I put it down there, okay? On top of the blue, 
this gorgeous blue here i add this like a silver it's a ton of silver pink shade okay so that gives the luminosity to the eye and i'm going to proceed doing the other eye packing start packing the shade the purple shade i put my my eye shield protector just in case if i have uh, fall out because I don't want to ruin the whole work. As you can see, I put the first hand and I'm diffusing the color outwards. Diffuse, diffuse, diffuse. I want the color very charged. I have the mirror literally in front of me, so that helped me to see what I'm doing, okay? So the application of this eyeshadow go like in a lateral um, position okay but we are not going to finish like a normally we do like at the typical cut eye Always one eye, for some reason, is easier <laughs> than the other one. So here, I just want rounded, okay? Rounded, I don't want a definition of the cut eye. I fixed my hair this morning with a flat iron, iron, but doesn't last longer. Today it's been raining here in San Antonio, Texas. And as you already know, it's, uh, we have a very humid weather here, so doesn't help much. And I have a kind of curl, I wanna say like a curl, frizzy hair. You can see I still diffusing. This is a clean eye brush, blending brush. I have deep eyes. They are not hooded, it's just deep, okay? So, for the people with this kind of a eye, uh, we normally, when we are hitting the crease, we have to normally go very intentional in that area if we want, you know, to show the color there. Because when you when we open the eye, we can have easier gap. So as you see, I keep blending in a round way. I clean the brush and I keep diffusing. Okay, now I'm going to grab the soft pink and I mix it. I'm more or less rich. 
all the way here. Upwards. So I keep packing with a soft pink to make a nice transition and blend. And I keep blending. So I pack a little bit more of the light pink. I need to check on the mirror what I'm doing on the big mirror, just making sure that this is getting even, okay? There we go. So I fade it into nothing, okay? You don't want harsh lines here. So now I'm going to apply the shimmer. It's very pretty. Very stunning. So I use both the light pink and the shimmer and I mix together. As you can see the light here on the edges. So I use the same thing. I'm looking at myself on the back mirror. Just making sure everything is seamless, okay? I really like this beautiful, like a, it's like a silver, I don't know, it's a very interesting shade, but it's like a silver pink. It's a beautiful color. So I want that luminosity. All this area. So now I think this is pretty nice. I'm going to proceed working on my inner using, look, I use this uh, precision um, packing a brush for my outer. And now I'm going to proceed with a very tiny one. It's even smaller, okay? This little one is from uh, NYX. And the number is 42. This is for NYX. You can see that one is bolder than the other one. This is to have access to small, you know, areas. So with this small, first of anything, I'm going to make a very nice transition on the edge here. So from the inner here, I'm going to pack first the shade, okay? Connecting with my eye line. And I'm going to give intensity with the black pencil right. 
If you see me moving, it's because I need to make sure that the direction and how far I'm taking the color need to match with the other eye, okay? I'm loving the intensity of this makeup look is very beautiful very fun for me to work with and I'm just enjoying it a lot I like to work with this precision um, brushes because help me to have more control, you know, um, more control when I'm diffusing, okay? If I do it with a bigger brush, I run the risk to start putting color where I don't want it. So now when I'm sure, and then I come with my blender. <laughs> Not my blender, but my blending brush. Wand from Pat McGrath. I'm going to apply this product on the center. Okay, because I'm going to apply the shimmer right now and by you. Okay, so I constantly, every one pass, I clean the brush on my fiber cloth so I can take that away any excess that I can have from the product. So I keep repeating in the other eye to don't lose, right, the transition. These shades are mesmerizing. Okay. You can see. Okay, now I'm going from top and I'm going to paint in between my lash line. Like I was saying before, I don't want any gap, okay? Same tiny brush. I'm going to start diffusing and connecting this black shade with the rest of what I've done already. And 
if you can see you can see the dimension of the eye look the light is beautiful you can do it as it is your desire and how much luminosity you want and the reason of putting this as you can see the fallout stay on this it's a very pretty look this is just using imagination nothing else as you see the outer part on the temples are easy to do the foundation and I will be uh, I just finished putting the eyelashes I put a tiny little bit of mascara just to marry both the lashes. Let me tell you, this kind of eyelashes I got it on Etsy. They are mink eyelashes and they have a tiny little blue. Okay, they are 30 millimeters. Okay, they are very dramatic. And um, with the little one road, okay, I cut because they were very long for my eye. Look what I'm doing. I'm using it as part of uh, my creativity on the lower, in the center of my lower eye line. I'm sorry, it was a shortcut on the power. I hope that so far you are enjoying this makeup look. It's um, using Pat McGrath, the Mother Chip Mega Celestial Nirvana. I'm going to show it again. I start my base with a deep purple, soften the edges with this beautiful pink. Then in the center, using this amazing blue, is a shimmer finish metallic. And then on top, I use this silver, lilac, and pink a metallic finish as well. This formula is amazing, blend, easy to apply, okay? Uh, with a little bit, you go a long way. As you can see, I just was trying to create something fun. So let me tell you, this eyelash was very big on my, on my eye. So I cut the inner, I cut one little chunky piece, right? measuring my my eye length but i'm not going to put it on the trash why because these are um, mink uh, eyelashes so as a creativity i can use them since they are mink again and do a little you know something in the middle of my lower eye using pat mcgrath blushing the light palette I'm going again. Let me see for this in combination of these two. Let me see what I have. Okay, I always put some of the product on, on the back of my hand because I want to see how deep is going to be the how deep is going to be, you know, the shade my skin I have a light light medium skin more light so normally any color look very intense on me so I have to be careful with that okay this is what I'm mapping okay it's starting like a, from the top of my ear coming down it's a very very dramatic look but again what you can do with something so amazing as it is Pat McGrath product then she used her product you know in the pasarelas working for the biggest of the biggest brand companies if I want it like a high fashion I can just leave it like this Okay. 
like art because makeup is art i can leave it like that if i wanted to okay but i keep diffusing okay so as you can notice again i don't drag the product always pat 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 this is a real a goat hair refer brand. want to define a tiny little bit my nose just on the lateral tiny little bit this is how my amazing blushing the lights come this i got it months ago oh my goodness this is going to last me my whole life i think but i have all the colors that i actually use and need for my different makeup. And I'm going to try to do a third look with this palette. Top secret. And see you soon. God bless you. Bye.